uh, in this particular example, we're going to rotate this triangle ABC 120 degrees about this point P using a protractor and a compass. So what I'm going to show you here is, first thing you want to do is you want to draw some lines. And we're going to start by drawing a line from the point that we're rotating about point P to vertex A. So I'm just going to start by drawing a line. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to position your protractor so that the point P here is right at the center here of your, your protractor. That's the point you're rotating about. You also want to make sure that this line here between point P and point A is along this edge. Okay, and so now we want to make sure we use the right numbers. So you can see there's a set of numbers on the inside of the protractor and numbers on the outside of the protractor. We're rotating counterclockwise. So we're going to start over here with the numbers on the outside. 0 degrees, 10 degrees, 20 degrees. And you can see until we get to 120 degrees over here, I'm going to put a mark and I'm going to draw a line through the point of um, the center of rotation, point P, to that 120 degree mark. So you just draw a line along that 120 degree mark there. So now what you can do is you can use your compass, and what you want to do is you want to open it up in such a way that it reaches from the center of rotation, point P, to this vertex A. Okay, and then what you can do is you can rotate that along that 120 degree line, and now you can see that the distance from P to A is going to be the same as the distance from P to A prime. A prime means it's at our new uh, point there. So we're going to repeat that process with B and C, and then we're going to connect all those points together to get our new figure. So let me just walk through that again with you. So uh, we're going to draw a light line through the center rotation point P to vertex B. So I'll draw a line like that. Then what we want to do is we want to position our uh, protractor so that the center of the uh, rotation is right here, and then the edge okay, is along that line between P and, and B. And we want to rotate 120 degrees. So I'm starting on the outside of the protractor, going counterclockwise, 120 degrees. I put a mark right here at the 120 degree mark, and I draw a line through the center rotation P out through that 120 degree line, like so. Then we use our compass, and we measure, essentially, we open it up in such a way that the distance from point P to, to B, that distance is going to be the same as from P to P prime. Okay, now I didn't make my line long enough, so let me just extend it a little bit here. And so you can see they're crossing right there. That's B prime. And we want to do the same thing with point C. So let me see if I can draw that line now. We've got uh, P to C, okay, like so. And now what I want to do is I want to position my protractor. Uh, so the center is right at point P, and the edge is right along this line between P and C. And so if I measure 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way to 120 degrees, that's our 120 degree mark right there, draw a line through the vertex, uh, or the center of rotation, I should say, out through that point. Okay, so let's see, that looks like it's going to be something like that. Okay, and it's good to make your lines a little bit longer than you think you need, just so you don't have to go back and extend it like I did on the last one. And so what you can do now is use your compass to measure that distance from P to C. Okay, it looks like we have that pretty good there. And then we rotate around, make an arc, and you can see it's crossing right there. That's going to be the location of C prime. Now all we have to do is connect A prime, B prime, and C prime together. And let's see if that looks uh, congruent to our original triangle. It should be exactly the same size and shape. It should be exactly congruent. It just should be rotated now 120 degrees. So let's see if that makes sense. Okay, let's just kind of shade that in so we kind of visualize that a little bit better. This is our original triangle right here. And so you can see this is actually like a turn. Like if I were to hold my um, finger here at point P and go ahead and take this figure and rotate it, okay, 120 degrees counterclockwise, you can see that that would be our image here. This is our pre-image. So if you want to see more examples where I do uh, different types of constructions in geometry, I'll link to a playlist that you can check out if you want to see more of my videos. I look forward to helping you over in those future videos, and I'll, I'll talk to you soon.